गुड आफ्टरनून फ्रेंड्स माई सब जंगसारी किशोर फ्रॉम नौकार इंस्टीट्यूट टूडे आई विल टीच यू इन स्टैंडर्ड टेन इंग्लिश ग्रामर पार्ट नाइन द मेन टॉपिक इज डायरेक्ट इन डायरेक्ट स्पीच आई ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन यू असर्टिव सेंटेंस इंट्रोगेटिव सेंटेंस एंड इम्परेटिव सेंटेंस द फोर्थ is the exclamatory sentence so now i explain you the fourth uh, sentence exclamatory sentence so if the sentence has exclamatory sign it is called exclamatory sentence again i repeat the same sentence if the sentence has exclamatory sign it is called exclamatory sentence in place of said or said to we have to put exclaimed to in place of said or said to we have to put exclaimed to in place of conjunction we have to put that but before that we have to put with joy with sorrow with surprise with disgust with praise with joyful etc according to sentence now after that turn the sentence into assertive and last all changes so i repeat you all the things again so exclamatory sentence so first of all what is exclamatory sentence so if the sentence has exclamatory sign it is called exclamatory sentence now in place of said or said to we have to put exclaimed to in place of conjunction we have to put that but before that we have to put with joy with sorrow with surprise with disgust with praise with joyful etc according to sentence like if a sentence has any happiness then we have to put with joy or with joyful if the sentence has any sad thing then we have to put with sorrow if the sentence has any surprise matter then you have to write down with surprise if the sentence has any problem like a pareshani then we have to put disgust if the sentence has any praise then we have to write down with joy and these are exclamatory sentence while turning into indirect 
we have to turn the sentence into assertive sentence in last interrogative sentence there is the same rule that turn the sentence into assertive the same thing in exclamatory sentence while turning into indirect we have to turn into assertive sentence and last is all changes so friends i hope you will understand and whatever i explain you so this is a fourth point which i explain you in direct indirect speech the first is assertive second interrogative third imperative fourth exclamatory now the two point is left the fifth is with lets without let and sixth is optative so here the fourth exclamatory sentence explanation is completed i hope you will understand in better way and please possible so you have to write down that thing one or two time and you can learn now in the next lecture in the next video i will explain you some examples so that you can understand this point in a better way thank you very much